folks, Moose here again. So this video is um, <laughs> another phone video. I'm sure you guys are going to love that. It's one of these things. Um, but the reason I'm doing this video is because, you know, it, it's like everything else. You know, you're always learning. I'm always learning. So this video is um, dedicated to Janie at the uh, E-Waste and Precious Metal Refining Group on Facebook. She had a post about one of these old phones and a little treasure that was found inside of it. So, I have a few treasures actually. So, I, I know that personally I've had these before and you know I've trimmed the wire and you know just did the basics. Um, and again, you know, as, as you get older, as the more you do this, the more you realize, holy crap, I've thrown out a lot of stuff over the years. So, without further ado, I'm going to show you where there is gold, silver, and possibly even palladium in one of these old phones. Now, to address the, the first thing that I'm going to get, um, these rotary phones, they are actually worth money if they work, um, even not as props. Um, so you can try selling them on eBay, these ba but the, the thing is the color. So these beige ones, these are like $10 to $15. Um, this is what I'm seeing them go for on eBay. Any other color though, you'll get much more. From black to orange, blue, um, green. I mean, all the other colors <laughs> do better except for the beige. So um, make sure you check it out. That's, you're definitely going to make the most money that way. Um, but oh, without further ado, let's get into this thing so we can really see where them some precious metals are in some strange places. All right, so <clears throat> the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut some cords. So this is you know, the low grade insulation, um, ins um, communications wire. Uh, this thing actually will have some gold plated pins way down in there. Uh, you can tell that it's there's copper and whatever that base metal is because of the, the green corrosion coming out. So snip that off, throw it in with the gold plated connector bucket. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this cable off. Again, this is low grade wire. All right, now I am going to focus on this thing. Now, in so many of the newer headsets, um, the, the, this part is usually junk. And there's really not much in it. You know, maybe a little bit of wire. But in these old guys, so you pull this thing out, and can you see it? Can you see it yet? There is gold in there. All right. Now, it can be a little bit of a bugger to get to. Um, but. Once you do get to it. All right, so looking at this, um, this is a brass ring. All right, I can tell because I've had to use my wire cutters to uh, cut the edge. I can see that the metal inside is yellow. Um, plus it's not magnetic. So, um, that. It is a stubborn bugger. There. So we got a little chunk of brass off. Now, we take a look at this. All right. That's not magnetic. That looks like it might be aluminum. This little piece here, and then this, which is not, I mean, there's gold plating on the inside of it, which looks like some pretty decent gold plating. Um, and then we've got this little ball here. Oh, 
which is very nicely gold plated. And I believe that's it for in there. So the rest is going to be like cast aluminum. So this part is magnetic. This part over here is likely aluminum. All right, so if you want to try and you know peel that off, it'd be a hassle, but you know you certainly can. So we've got these nice little pieces. I mean, that that that's that's very nice. Not definitely not something I ever would have imagined coming out of an old rotary phone. But <coughs> the fun doesn't stop there. So these right here need to be tested. Uh, because they can be silver plate, they could be palladium plate, um, they could be a few different things. So, grab that, clip some wire. And when you're left with this, you want to kind of like make sure you, you feel it because sometimes they put, uh, if it's really heavy, sometimes they put a piece of lead in there. Um, this one, not. <coughs> All right, and the top speaker, um, I didn't notice, I didn't hear that there was anything much in the top speaker. Um, this one is just a speaker, whereas this one would transfer voice into sound. So it was different function, so a little bit of a different uh, makeup there. Alright, so we've got this stuff, set that aside. Now, we dig into the base with the lovely old-fashioned flathead screwdriver, or screws. I really love those. Not. Even has a date on the back of when it was made. <clears throat> it's like 10 October Two bells, which brass. We've got several places where there could be silver in here. So we've got number one, we've got this section right here. There's gonna be silver in there on the contacts. Let us see. We can finish taking that apart. intricate little thing here. So we've got the brass bells. We've got a little, um, it's like an electromagnet. So there's a, there's, should be copper wound around that. Yep. 
indeed. <clears throat> Very fine copper wire down there. We've got a lot of little things here. This has all kinds of copper windings in there. So I'll just use the uh, wire cutters here. Remove the edge. Go to the other side. Do the same. And now all that wire just unspools out real easy. Right, back to this thing. Now we have got a little rat's nest here of wire. So I'm going to head in there, try and trim it up. All right, got that wire out. And the rest of the stuff looks like it's going to be not quite so simple to get out. But we can try. So let's look at the back of the, the rotary thing. So right now I can tell there are some itty bitty silver contacts in there. So right where you see anything we need to like make connection right there and then so you can see it it's those two little pieces right there so a lot of you might be wondering you know well is that even worth it um, yeah that's it's entirely up to you I mean this is something that I do as a hobby so for me yeah it's worth it because um, I really enjoy doing it and I need all the silver containing stuff I can get my hands on for the summer when I start experimenting with uh, nitric acid and stuff like that. So, yeah, I just lost it. There it is. Now, it's my understanding that, you know, some of these things may actually be, the, the palladium used to be used a lot more, um, at least a lot more than I would have thought. Uh, I gotta remember the, the value of it back then was different than it is now. Um, so, and all these groups that I'm on, I oftentimes see people finding things that are, you know, palladium plated and stuff like that, and stuff that I would have never thought even possible. All right, so the rest of this, all ferrous, except for that one gear right there, which I'm not gonna bother pulling out. Ooh, that's interesting. That just fell right apart. Normally these switches come off in like a block, but not this one. All right, well, yay, brass. Um, with a bunch of little contacts on them. So, set that aside. Look at this. All right, so we got more brass, a little bit of wire. Brass with, so they're very, they're very small. You can see those little dashes on there. That's what we're going for. Easy. Okay, so the rest of this, it's all just ferrous, it's all steel, so we can throw that with the steel pile. Um, Alright, now on here, we've got a couple of these like disc passers, and I'm still learning. Uh, so I'm going to remove them and keep them aside while I'm learning. But some of these contain silver and other precious metals. I've got a tiny little transformer here that um, for me it will be very easy to off and get that copper out of. So I know you guys are, wow that was super easy. You guys are probably gonna get really tired of hearing me say the word ingot. So that just came apart 
like nothing. And then just like the other one that we did, we just, you know, peel back that plastic outer rim. And then the copper just flies right off. Just like that. And these little boxes sometimes are relays. These I don't think are. Nope. Some of the bottoms are like filled with epoxy or something. Alright. And the rest of that is brass, but it's all soldered down pretty good, so I may take the wire cutter to it. I may not. I may just. And I'm going to take this little disc capacitors off um, so I can figure out what those are but these don't have any friggin writing on them so that's really not helpful oh well maybe I'll just throw this all on the low grade board but that's uh, well that, that's what we've got so to sum up we've got these little silver contacts in there we've got our, our brass you know, with two little bells and the uh, little connectors and stuff <clears throat> that little low-grade board teeny tiny amount of low-grade wire lots of uh, ferrous stuff got this the other piece of brass from inside the receiver I've got that uh, nice little gold gold plated part of the receiver as well few little pieces of aluminum. I mean, in our case of the, uh, this is pretty much all aluminum. Matter of fact, yep, yeah, it's solid. Except for that little speaker in the, the middle part. And we've got <clears throat> that wire, our little, but a little copper. That's about it. So again, yep, yeah, sorry, it is yet another video on phones, but it just goes to show there's so many different types out there. Um, and you really never know what's going to be in something unless you take it apart and find out. Um, of course, as long as it doesn't have you know a higher resale value. Um, so there it is. So thank you again, Janie, uh, for that for that great post on the uh, the, the Facebook site. Um, <laughs> because otherwise, I would not have gone digging into that receiver for that little bit of gold. So again, thank you. Have a good night. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, share, hit that bell, and. Uh, See y'all in the next one.